All my life, I have been surrounded by music. Some of my earliest memories are of my family's passion as they played. But I never felt that passion in me. I remember car rides with my grandma when I was five. She would always listen to classical music on the radio. I never really paid attention to it. But one day, I heard something different. It was a single sound. A sound so special, with such depth that it resonated throughout my body. It told a story without words. I felt the warmth of the instrument in every note. Its melody was almost like a human voice whispering the most beautiful tale. I sat and listened to the entire piece. As soon as it was done, I knew it. I turned to my grandmother and said, that's the instrument I want to play. I did not know what it was or what it looked like. All I knew was that I wanted to recreate the warmth I felt. A few days later, I found myself face to face with the largest instrument I had ever seen. I thought, this can't be it. It can't be true. It was as big as me. I was intimidated by its size, yet fascinated by all the details. I looked at the beauty in each line and curve, everything from the head with its pegs to the bridge sculpted with such precision and care. They told me to try it. I started to pick at the strings. I placed the bow on them and tried to play. Despite the terrible sounds I was making, I fell in love with the cello. It took 12 years of effort, practice, desire to quit, of hard work just to make a few notes sound decent, yet also 12 years of passion, warmth, deep melodies, of something that was much more than making music, it was getting lost in the sound. I stopped playing at 18 years old. During my last concert, I played the same piece that I heard in my grandmother's car all those years ago. The same magic I had felt moved the audience to tears. Now my cello sits in the corner of my room. I can't seem to find the time or energy to play it. I can no longer make it sing like it once did. So frustrated and helpless, like I've forgotten how to walk. Estranged from my friend, something I once knew so well has become alienated from me. I can feel a part of me is missing, empty, but never truly gone.